Hey everybody, Izumi here, and I'm finally getting around to making this Nerthus Annihilates S4 solo. So I'm running Ulin as my front tank, and this is what I'm using on her. Second is going to be Magic Doctor Lumiere, and she is basically set up as a support slash minor healing character. Then, what finally been able to push me over the edge to being able to consistently do this fight, which would be Max Awakened Senia. So, number four is going to be Night Conjurer Luca, which probably not a lot of people have. And that's what I'm using on her. Keep in mind, element doesn't matter on her because she doesn't have void field. So, and the same thing with E4 and Raspy. She doesn't have um, void field, so it doesn't matter what element you use. I like the glow sticks here, and mainly Raspy is because of frenzy and faint. So, let's go with the fight. Dept Empress Nerthus is in the magic row, is Aesir, and is considered to be grounded. Her action skill, Maelstrom, does 180% water magic attack damage and vortex for 3 turns to the 3 enemies with the lowest HP. Vortex effect applies only to... Aesir humans and elves. Her auto skill does water magic attack damage and void field for three turns and vortex for three turns and HP 20% down for one turn to all enemies. This attack ignores barriers and shields and vortex effect applies only to Aesir humans and elves and Yotun on S4. HP down applies only to the second and third HP bars of Nerthus and on S4 her auto skill also does frost burn for three turns to the nearest enemy row and this applies to Aesir, Humans, Elves, Therian, and Yotan. The, the most effective element to use on her is going to be Earth. Um, you can you can use dark, but I would advise to stick with 100% earth. That this is a very late game fight, and there's not going to be a lot of substitutions you're going to be able to make here. Now on to the crystals. The water magic crystals in the magic row are, give the high aqua field to all the heroes in the connect, as well as a Water magic attack damage and vortex for three turns to the nearest enemy. And water magic attack damage to three random enemies. This attack ignores barriers and shields and vortex applies to Aesir, humans, and elves. And on S4, it does slow for two turns for two enemies with the lowest HP. The water magic crystals in the ranged row do 80% shield and stat buff nullification to the front enemy row. And on S4 they do water magic attack damage to the two enemies with the lowest HP and this ignores shields, barriers, and counter attacks. So some other heroes that you might be able to use are going to be very slim. So. Maybe you can use King, um, Squirrel Girl can work, but there's not many others. It's really, it's really a fight that y you can either do it or you have to be carried. That's pretty much how it is. Um, I waited on it for so long because I couldn't reliably do it by myself. So I waited until I was just barely not finishing it. So I waited until Awakened Senia got here. I saved up all the materials to fully awaken her. And I kind of got lucky by getting um, Eve Horn Raspy. Um, other than that, like I said, I would have needed Squirrel Girl or King or somebody like that.
but it, it, it's it's a pretty tough fight you gotta have the right equipment and <clears throat> basically the right equipment and the right heroes since it's like an in-game fight So, here we go with the damage. And that's it. So, thank you for watching and have a good day.